let's check out another amazing bunch of guitars made by builders just like you. Arthur sends along a note here. He's used my 72 thin line T style templates to make a solid body telly. And then he says he also used the humbucker and control cavity templates that he got from me as well. So I like that he figured out that, that the intent of the templates is that they're like Lego. Once you get a few of the pieces, you can start to interchange them and make things your own, which is really cool. And then he even says here, I modified the headstock on the template to customize it to my liking. So that's another brilliant thing that he's caught on to. The headstock on the template is a paddle shape and you can draw your own design on there and then cut it to your liking. And now you've got a template of your own headstock shape without having to custom order one, which is really smart. So he sent along some nice build photos here. This appears to be a black limba body in progress. He's building along and there's his template in place. He's finished routing the outside it looks like. And he's made some really cool additions here. The belly curve, the easy access heel on the back of the neck heel. That's very smart. This is clever here. So he's clearly going with not a neck plate. He's gonna use some ferrules. So there's the paddle shape and he's got his own design he's going to use. And there is his design, cool. Oh, I like that. He's used black binding too. Black binding on uh, limba, black limba or white limba looks fantastic. It's something I've done in the past and I, th I think it looks really good. This one is from Eric who says he made this telly thin line for his nephew, which is awesome. There's nothing better than an excuse to have someone to build a guitar for because then you don't catch hell for building too many guitars for yourself. Well done. The highest compliment I could pay you, Eric, is that you have made every choice that I would have made on this model of guitar. I'm a big fan of this model to start with, but the blue you chose, the white binding, perloid pickguard, and even the non-traditional telly neck pickup. I, I can't tell if that's a foil pickup or a mini humbucker, but either way, not going with the standard telly neck pickup is exactly the kind of thing that I would have chosen if I were building this guitar for myself. So I think you've done a really, really good job. Obviously your nephew does too. Oh, there's Eric and cheeky nephew. Th this is a really nice build, Eric. You should be really proud of this. Paul asked me to make him several sets of custom base neck and neck pockets for his own custom designs. He didn't need a full set of templates, just the neck and neck pocket and a couple of pickups. He needed custom pickup templates as well because he designed his own pickups. So here Paul is using the neck and neck pocket templates with his own design. He took care of the body shape himself, but he asked me for help with the neck and neck pockets, which was easy enough, and the pickup routes. He designed his own wooden pickup covers and needed custom routes to fit them. This base looks fantastic. I'm not sure what that top wood is. I'll have to ask Paul, but it looks really sharp. And this double cut base, which Paul tells me again, is walnut front and back with a maple body core in the middle. It's a really slim body. I'm not a bass guy. Don't know the first thing about playing bass, but if I was gonna play bass, I think I'd want this bass. This looks really, really beautiful. John is a regular customer of mine. We've worked on a lot of things together and he says here that, oh, this is kind. I use Potvin templates for all my electrics unless it's a custom shape. John, you know, we can do custom shapes anytime you want, wink. You probably don't know this, but John graduated from the Roberto Venn School of Luthiery. I think he graduated in 2016, but interestingly, he stayed on as their multimedia advisor and video producer, which might explain why he has such great photos. So this first build from John is a single cut 
parlor that is super classy. The pickups, I can't quite place those. They look like they're P90 size, but something tells me they might be humbuckers. Maybe John will tell me. But this build is really nice. It's an understated kind of thing, although flame maple is rarely understated, but maybe the clear finish is helping with that. I really like how that works. The dark fretboard and the light of the maple body is really classy. If we flip to the next picture, we can see that what he did is he's used a mahogany core and flame maple top and back. So he's gone all out on this. This looks really, really nice. And I like that you can see the flame in the edges of the F hole. This is a really nice build. And then here, John has a Tele thin line in progress with a really nice flame maple top and a burst. That looks fantastic, John. Have you finished this? Let's see, I'll flip next. Oh, you did finish it, okay. And you've got a Babbage bridge on there. This is a really nice build, John. I like the faux binding. The color, the burst is really nice. It suits this thing. That's really nice work, John. I love this note. Pat says, I'm stupid proud of this one from your Jaguar template. Well, you should be stupid proud of this one, Pat. It looks fantastic. I love the reveal on the headstock. So you've carved away some of the head plate to reveal flamed, I assume that's flamed maple underneath. That looks really cool. I also love that you've made the pick guard out of wood and made it with a Jaguar chromed control plates. That's cool. The pick guard interlocking with the plates on a Jag is one of my favorite things. And the fact that you made it out of wood, I think makes it even cooler. This is a really nice build. Bob sent one here that I absolutely love. I don't get a lot of pictures of this one sent in, so I like to see these, and this one especially just blew my mind. He says here, he has my headstock angle jig, but didn't use it on this build. He actually modified the template slightly to turn it from a set neck to a bolt-on because he had an old warmoth neck that he wanted to use, so that's cool. The icing on the cake here is that he has a friend who is a professional painter, and he just handed him the finished guitar and told him to do whatever he wanted, no holds barred. And this is what he got back. Well, I can't say enough good things. Bob, this thing looks fantastic. First of all, I love this model of guitar. It's near and dear to my heart, but the paint job, the gold hardware, I'm not a gold hardware guy, but it really matches up nicely with the color scheme. And let's flip to the next picture here. This is just awesome. I told Bob in an email that this takes me back to being a kid when I'm gonna date myself now, but at the local fair, the kiddie rides would be boats and mini bikes and things. And they all have these big bass boat flake paint jobs and pinstripes and flames. This is just awesome. I can't imagine handing this off to a painter and not knowing what I would get back. And this is what you get back. I think my mind would have been blown. This is really nice. Yeah, this looks fantastic, Bob. Sylvain sent along a couple of builds here. This first one, I love, it's my mashup model. One of my mashup models. This one is the LP mashup. So LP shape with tele controls and bridge. And I think he's done a great job here. The color scheme is jumping right out at me. I think that's like a silver or gray with a white perloid pick guard. And I think it looks fantastic. He also has, I think that's a bird's eye maple neck in place that looks fantastic. This is a really classy build. And then next, he's got a really nice telly build. He asked for a snakehead neck, and I see he's modified it slightly to give it his own twist, which I think is fantastic. And I think that's another bird's eye maple neck. I can't quite tell, but it looks really sharp. The top, I believe, is quilted maple, and that not quite burst on the maple looks fantastic. And the bright white pit guard really pops on the color. This is a really nice build, Sylvain. Both of these builds, they're really nice. If any of the amazing guitars featured in this video caught your eye, I know the builders would appreciate it if you'd leave a quick comment and let them know how much you like their work. And in the meantime, check out this video for even more guitar building ideas.